I'm holding a piece of a meteorite that scientists now have reason to believe is from Phobos, the largest moon of Mars. Let's take a closer look. A new paper is being released at this year's Lunar and Planetary Sciences Conference that's shaking up the meteoritical world a little bit, and that's because it is identifying a potential meteorite that landed here on Earth, and it's linked to Phobos, the largest moon of Mars. And that's a pretty rare thing. We don't actually have a lot of meteorites where we're pretty darn sure we know what the parent body is. We have meteorites that we know are from the moon or from Mars or from the asteroid Vesta, but that's about it. So to get a new planetary body or a new celestial body that we have something from is really, really unique. The official name of this stone and the stones found around it is Kassar Ghilane 022, and that's because it was found in the Kassar Ghilane region of Tunisia. Um, it was found in 2022. That's not where the number 22 comes from. That's just because it was the 22nd classified find from this region. Just a little bit of a coincidence. A lot of stones, uh, meteoritic stones, are found in this region because it's desert and uh, they're preserved pretty well in that environment without a lot of humidity to mess them up. This specific rock is a peroxonite, which means that it is crystallized magma or lava, not too dissimilar from what we have on Earth. You'll find this in the mantle of the Earth, so it uh, makes similar sense that we would find it in the mantle of other differentiated bodies out in the solar system that were formed in kind of similar ways. So when we talk about learning a little bit more about our planet by the study of other cosmological bodies, well, this is a good example of that in this case. As for Phobos itself, I think it's a really neat moon. One, it just looks really cool uh, with its amorphous shape. Uh, and even though it is the largest moon of Mars, it's actually pretty small. It's only got a radius of seven miles or about 11 kilometers. So the fact that some of it managed to break off fly throughout space and end up on Earth with it actually being not very large at all is, is a pretty unique thing that we actually have it. And now I have a piece at my desk here that I'm able to uh, to show you. That's really neat. Um, Phobos, don't get too attached to it, though. It is what they call a death moon, which means that it is slowly decaying in its orbit around Mars. And sometime in the realm of maybe 100 million years, it's going to disintegrate um, and it will leave a ring around Mars and Phobos won't be there anymore. So um, enjoy the pieces while we got them. Um, it won't be there in 100 million years years.